screen recording this? Yeah, I'm recording now. Oh, that's really embarrassing. No, it's fine. Emily and I were just having a good time about <laughs> yeah. life. Yeah, we were having a conversation before, <laughs> so you're all good. Sweet. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Isla. Um, in year 12, I studied drama, ancient history, modern history, um, English advanced, English extension one, English extension two, um, and general maths. And <laughs> I got an ATAR of 98.15. And what are you doing now? All oh, right, and now I'm studying media communications at the University of Sydney. I'm at college and I also do theatre performance studies. Lovely, lovely. Who wants to go next? <laughs> go swim. Well, well, I did business, economics, uh, advanced English, standard maths, and PE. Yeah. Um, and I got 91.05. Really? Yep. I thought. I don't know what I thought you got. That's great. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did. Oh, I I'm so proud of you, bro. Amazing. Doing an international business um, at Griffith Uni on the Gold Coast. So proud. Thanks. Go, oh, Connor. Okay. Um, I'm Connor. Oh. I did advanced English, uh, physics, chemistry, biology, um, advanced maths, extension one maths, and extension two maths. And I got 96.9 as an ATAR. Way. That's impressive. That's really yeah, impressive. Boys. How did you cope with all three sciences? Well, to be honest, when Isla was reading out her thing, I kind of threw up in my mouth a bit. Just <laughs> Food, same. I hate history that much. <laughs> like, I'm so glad I dropped it. Honestly, I, I sometimes reflect now, even though it's only been a few months later, and I'm like, why did I do that? You were that? genuinely considering majoring in English. I know. I kind of still am, but... Oh. Go, oh. <laughs> Em. Um, all right, so I'm Emily. In year 12, I studied uh, Math Advanced, Math Extension 1, English Advanced, English Extension 1, Geography, Biology and French Continuous. I got a ATAR of 98.05 and I'm currently doing Arts Advanced Studies, majoring Politics, IR and International Business at UCID. Wow. <laughs> Oh, can I add that I'm a um, university dropout? <laughs> yes. <Yuck> you. <laughs> um, so how does everyone stay focused? To do this is kind of like a long term thing, but um, before exam periods, I would literally delete everything off my phone. That would be mm. yeah, same. About like a month to five weeks before, so I'd just be in the here and now, and like be able to truly focus. I would delete like Instagram, Snapchat. All the things I didn't have Facebook, but like I don't, I don't think Emily actually had any social media. media. And Emily's the same; she didn't have social media. Yeah. So like deleted them for about five, <laughs> six weeks before every exam block. So before the trials and before the HSC. Mm -hmm. uh, so pretty much I didn't have it for like the end of the year, which was actually it was just really nice. Like all the time you waste spending like time on your phone and just scrolling through, you can actually use that time to have like a nice study break, go for a run or a swim, or like I don't know. Yeah. We did that together. Like we yeah. um we both deleted all of our social yeah. media. The initial worry, I was like, crap, I'm gonna miss out on so much like mm. social stuff. I wanna like not see things. But then when I was off it for that long, like it got weeks, weeks and I was like, Okay, I'm really not missing out on anything. Yeah, no. You don't feel like you're missing anything at all because like, you know, everyone else is in the same boat. Your friendship circle, if they're like you've got mm. most of them in your own year, like you're all doing the HSC. And you all, can just see whatever. people in real life. Like that was back yeah. when it wasn't yeah we would go for walks or whatever yeah also like for covid as well like probably having social media is probably good right now for people to yeah yeah of course like 
Yeah, but, really important. Yeah, just making sure that you don't get too obsessed with it. Yeah, like, yeah. And using it as like a way to procrastinate. Just managing your time. Yeah. And um, what about you, Swim? During the HSC, I was, every time I studied, I was kind of like all into the replicate what it's going to be like. So I was just like complete mm. silence and just trying to get used to it because I didn't do that before. Like I used to listen to music heaps and I was just, yeah, kind of year 12, I was like, I'm going to try every time I study to make it feel how I'm going to like an exam. try to remember stuff in an exam. So mm -hmm. I did that a fair bit and I never like, that. It, it feels a bit weird, like start to be honest, but you get in the like groove of it and it wasn't too bad, like you get in your zone and it's pretty good. So, I mean, that helped me because I just felt like in the exam, I knew that sort of familiar environment. Yeah, um, no, that's really good. I didn't know. So when I was like, oh, yeah, like if I was doing a past paper or whatever, I was just, you just replicate like, struggling, that. struggling to think about it. I'm like, know that feeling sort of thing. So yeah. I don't know, that, that worked. Um, no, that's really smart. Another random tip, but like in that, in the holidays between, you know, before trials, before the HSC, just, and I still do it now, even though we're in COVID shutdown, I always make sure that I get up and before I start working, I either have a shower and get changed or I just get changed and I like dress as if like it's a normal day. Mm. And yeah, you know, plan your PJs. Yeah, you don't, yeah, yeah get out Literally, of your PJs. Like, if you can't stand like, you know? hoodie and trackies and stuff, like I feel like you can't. Really? Oh my gosh, I study in hoodies and trackies, but like it's not my pajamas, so yeah. Yeah. Especially, well, especially, yeah, especially with our school uniform, like it's very. Very formal. Yeah, so, like, and like when you study, put a tie on and like. Yeah. Just go yeah. I literally have met someone at uni who said that they would do all this like practice papers in their school uniform. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So do that. A bunch I'm of schools. Though, you don't actually have to do the HSC in your school uniform, but like a bunch of schools like ours actually make you. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Cool. That'll be so good. That would be so good. <laughs> what about you, Connor? How do you stay focused? Like, Swim's thing of doing no music sounds pretty terrible to yeah, me. Yeah, I feel like you're a person to like <laughs> I'm no music person too, Swim, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I, I liked it. Like, I don't know. It's just, That's like, I wasn't fun. doing it before, but I was, I was just, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. It just shows that like, everyone's different. It's kind no, of like a like, sporting like, I wish, analogy. But, I wish yeah. that I did that, but I'm just so, like, just need it sort of thing. But yeah, yeah. Um, what I would do is, like, I'm such the kind of person that like I love listening to like a whole album yeah. sort of thing. So I'd use that to like break Take up. Take yourself through study. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like yeah. I would put on an album or whatever and then like have my phone in a different room or something like that. And then like when the album finished you can have like a little break kind of yeah. like Yeah, that's smart. We do that with playlists. Yeah, yeah that's great. Oh uh, yeah, I used to I used to juggle in between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Stuart would always send me videos and he's like, bro, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've got some of those videos on my phone just like before the HSC, like, <laughs> like before an, an exam and you were just chugging. That's so funny. Just because you've got to think about like what you're doing, you just forget about schoolwork for like yeah, five yeah, minutes. Yeah, it's good distraction. Yeah. Oh, I have another thing. Um, yeah. I just think that if you have a separate area that's like just for study sort of thing, yeah. like don't like yeah. study on your bed or something like that because mm. it's just like your brain's like, is this for a relaxing or is this for study? Mm. So I transferred like from downstairs to up here for uni just because it was really messy down there. But I found that um, I'm always wanting to just go sit on my bed or just like have a nap or something when I'm sitting here. Like it's so tempting, like it's right there. But when I was in like a different room, like you sort of had to force yourself to just, you know, do it. Mm. What about you, Em? I also set um, really like regulated breaks because yeah. I used to be a type of person who would just sit down and stuff for hours and just not break. But I found that I drifted a lot concentration wise. Yeah, and so by having breaks, um, 30 minutes and then like a five minute break and during that five minutes, just really doing things to like, um, give you like a full switch off so you can like air out your ideas and um, whether that be exercise or just talking to someone else or if you're struggling with something and finding that you're not really getting anywhere with it I always find it helpful just to find somebody else around the house or message a friend and like bounce ideas off people because of yeah. often you're doing the same kind of assessments or coursework yeah. and that's really helpful to get a second opinion um, but yeah 
Yeah, no, I was similar. Like when I was in like my younger years, I would like on the weekend, I could probably study for like seven hours in a row. And I literally would take like, I would have, no, like not even kidding. It was scary. Like, I you just, actually used to do that. Yes, you I would sit at my desk. Well, poor French and then you. Ugh. That is so I messed up. Would, I would sit at my desk <laughs> and it was like, nine hours like seven straight. To, I would yeah, yeah. Like, it was like seven to 10 hours and I just used yeah. to sit at my desk. But. Nah. I'm looking back at that and I'm like, what on earth was I thinking? Mm -hmm. So, take breaks, everyone. <laughs> Not for too long. Don't replicate what I did. How to keep up with the homework. I feel really bad about this question because like, being truthfully honest, I don't think I did half of the homework set in year 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely. Literally, the, times I, the number of times I like walked into bio and like, mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh, yes. <laughs> I know, I know. Like for maths and for like some other things, I just I didn't do it. Like I, I didn't, didn't do anything in maths. That's no, my no, big I actually don't think I do. I, I think so I did maths thing all year. <laughs> I did. I did my homework for every subject <laughs> apart from all maths. I know, but, but it's just like so much other stuff is going on. My thing was as well. If you get told to do like. You know, if you're doing a humanities subject, if you get told to like write a practice response and you don't have enough time to write the practice response, like as homework, because you've got however many other things that you've got going on, mm. just like write a few dot points. Don't write yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, like I remember in English, we always got told, like Swim and I are in the same class, we always got told to like write paragraphs for homework and stuff, but I don't think I ever yeah. like I really do. wrote it out. I was a little bit different. I did do mm. the paragraphs like yeah. homework. But I agree. I found them really useful. Like, yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Like, Sometimes you don't schedule it in, but the homeworks, like they set it for a reason. Like I yeah. found it really helpful and I then agree. you chip away at things. So yeah, like, no, for sure. Like, homework, like, I don't know. I definitely think that like when you're scheduling your day, making sure that you get your homework out of the way before you study mm. is very... Mm. Um, I think just also a point is just to prioritize your homework. Make a list like throughout the week. You could just be like, okay, I haven't done this, this, list. this. and then on the weekend, you can yeah, like, do lists are it. so real. And also, you get so much. And like, especially week. Mm. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cross yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. You can make a week on one. You can see yeah. what to do and like get the overall picture, which also helps with motivation a little bit. If you're like, yeah. oh, I'll get that done, then I can step close to the assessment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was a big list person. Like, Mm -hmm. get the stuff done that you needed like that's due earliest and just like work through it before you hit like the study and if you can get if you're really strong in an area that's probably places where you can i yeah, don't know let maybe it yeah exactly. let it slide a little bit but like do try and keep on top of it because most of it helps like i know in in pa we used to get um like past hsc questions every week for yeah, the whole wow. year so like that stuff is like set up to help you. So you get in an exam and you're like, hang on a minute, I've seen so yeah, many of exactly. these different sort of questions. So they, they like, the teachers are usually, you know, setting you up for success mm -hmm. later on. So I think that like really the important thing is with homework and study, um, like the whole combined thing is making sure that you're aware of your syllabuses and just mm -hmm. know your syllabuses and you're like able to you know, look at a line of the syllabus, know that you've done enough homework and study and practice things and be able to be like, okay, like the end goal is to be able to look at that and be like, okay, yeah, I could turn that into a question or find a whole bunch of questions that that relates to and I could answer them all or pretty much all of them comfortably. I can't ask you something stuff from syllabus. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I like, found that super syllabus, helpful with English. Like, yeah. on the, you know, the rubric for English, like you just go through that and they can't yeah. ask you anything that's like not on that. Yeah. And you know, that is a really clever way to create your own practice questions and stuff if you're wanting to because yeah. obviously with the with New South Wales the new HSC um, there's not as many practice questions available so really using those rubrics for humanities subjects is really useful and also just ask your teacher for some like they'll be happy yeah. to do some yeah 100% my advice is to do homework yeah and do, definitely like, do what you're told <laughs> do what you're told the teachers have your best interest in mind um, but just like put it Study. Try and get it done before you start studying. Like as soon as you get home in the afternoon, just like do it and yeah, then get out of the way.